Hello everyone, in this video we are going to be looking at the solution to the lead code problem Q reconstruction by height. So it's given that we have a random list of people standing in a queue. Each person is described by a pair of integers H and K where H is the height of the person and K is the number of people in front of this person who have a height greater than or equal to his height. So we have to write an algorithm to reconstruct the queue. So basically it's given that we have a this person he has a height 7 and this is the amount of people with height greater than his who can stand in front of him and likewise this guy has a height 4 and there are 4 people in front of him who have a height of greater than 4 and likewise this guy has a height of 7 and there is one person allowed to stand in front of him who has a height greater than or equal to 7 so likewise so you can see that the output is matching correctly uh, because we have this person with a height 5 and there's nobody in front of him with a height greater than his. So correct. Now we have this person with a height 7 and we have no person. It says 0 meaning that we have 0 person in front of him with a height greater than his meaning that a person with a smaller height can stand in front of the person. So if a person has a height h then a person with a height smaller than h can stand in front of him but a person who has a height greater than or equal to h can stand only in front of him if k is not 0 if k is 0 then he cannot stand in front of him so that is the gist of the problem now we're given some hints and uh, the hints are obviously that uh, we have to uh, either do sorting or something like that obviously so let's just uh, copy I'll just copy this and I'll explain it. So we have this input. So let's just look at the approach. So yeah. So yeah. So we have these people. Now we have seven zero four four seven one five zero six one five two. Now let's think of starting with the person with the highest height. Now why? Because the person who has the greatest height there won't be anybody standing in front of him who has a height greater than his why because he has the greatest height so if we find the person who has a height who has the greatest height and we find his place and we set him up then we look at the person who has a height lesser than him and then we find his place and set him up and suppose a smaller person comes then he can go he can go ahead he can cut through the line and find his place so basically you can think of it as a normal person's line and this person has a height 7 and this he knows that he knows that these are the people the value k so we have the value h and we have the value k so he knows that k people with a height greater than his are allowed to stand in front of him so let's just sort it sort it in decreasing order of height so it will be something like this after sorting 7 0 uh, Seven one six one five zero five two and four four. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So this is sorting this is after sorting the people by uh, decreasing order of their heights. Now let's look at the first person. Okay. So the first person comes and he sees that there are zero people standing in front of him uh, who are who have a height greater than his. So he says that okay, I'll stand. There are nobody. In, there's nobody in front of me who has a height greater than me. So I'll stand in the first position. So currently, for the time being, he stands at the first position. And he says that if a person smaller than me comes in front of me, it's fine. But nobody greater, nobody with a height greater than me can come in front of me so for the time being 7 stands at 0 meaning that we put it it we put this one as it's at its case position case position now we come to the next guy and he sees that uh, one person can stand in front of him with a height greater than or equal to 7 so he sees that this 7 is already in front of him and that is correct because one guy is allowed to stand in front of him who has height greater than or equal to 7 and 7 is equal to 7 so he finds he says that okay there's one person ahead of me and I'll stand at the second position. So according to this k we uh, 
if we take zero indexing, then according to this guy's k, we put him at the first position. Now, six comes. We come to six. Now, six says that six sees that there's only one person allowed to stand in front of him who has a height greater than or equal to him. But there are two people right now at the front. So if six stands here, suppose that six comes in here, then that's a violation of his k because only one person uh, with a height greater than or equal to is allowed to stand in front of him. So what he does, he cuts into line. And so what we do is we put this guy at its kth position. So its kth position is one and everybody after him will be shifted towards the right. So six, one. And those are being fulfilled. There's nobody in front of him. There's this guy, there's one guy in front of him who has height greater than him, which is seven. And there's one guy with a height greater than this guy, which is seven with zero. Now, so far so good. Now, this five comes and again he sees that nobody is supposed to be in front of me, right? Because his k is zero, so nobody is supposed to be in front of me whose height is greater than or equal to uh, five. So he says that, okay, somebody smaller than him can stand in front of him, but nobody greater than him should stand in front of him. So what he does is he comes right to the front. So again, we, what we're doing is we're putting this guy at a zeroth position and everybody after him, we're, we're shifting towards the right. So this guy comes and he says that this is my position. And everybody shifts towards the right. Why? Because seven knows that a person smaller than me can come in front of me. But zero means here that nobody with a height greater than seven can stand in, greater than or equal to seven can stand in front of him. But five can stand in front of him because five is less than seven. Now, five two comes. And again, five says that two people greater than or equal to my height can stand in front of me. So what we're doing is we're putting five at its position, which is second. So zero, one, two, five stands at here. Now you can see that uh, in front of this five, two people are there who has a height greater than or equal to his. In front of this six, only one person is there who has a height greater than or equal to his, which is seven, zero. Now we come to this guy. And then he sees that uh, this is the smallest person. Then he sees that there are four people who are supposed to be in front of me who have a height greater than or equal to me. And obviously this is the smallest. So everybody in front of him will have a height greater than his. So again, what we're doing is we're finding his position, which is four and putting him at its position. So four will be here. And so you can see that the condition is being fulfilled. So if I just copy uh, the output, and see if it matches with our approach. Five zero seven zero five two six one four four seven one. Yeah, so you can see that our approach is matching. So again, I'm telling you what we're doing is first of all we're sorting people by their heights, and if their height is the same, then we're sorting them by their k. Now why is that? So suppose we have five uh, zero and five two. So a person who has a height who has less amount of people in front of him. Is given the first priority to go at its at his position, and person who has more people in front of him uh, is given the second priority because this guy has a height greater than or equal to his, right? So both of them have the same height, however their k is different, and this guy has a height greater than or equal to his. So basically, this guy can stand in front of this guy. So that is why well, first we are sorting them by their heights in decreasing order, and if the heights are same, so I'll just uh, write it down. Sorting in decreasing order by heights, and if height same, sort by uh, k in increasing order, and then after sorting, put the ith guy. At its at his k position, and if someone is already at his k position, then they'll shift towards the right. Shift everyone else to the right. So they'll say that okay, the this guy's position is correct. So they will just shift towards the right. So that is what is happening. And so that is the approach. And now uh, this is a simple implementation problem. So now we'll move to the code. And one more thing. So in Java, we have ArrayList. And ArrayList has a 
direct method which is add so when you add an element at a kth position then all the elements who are already there or in uh, in the back of him will already will automatically shift to the right so we have array list which has this method so now we look at the code okay so this is the code uh, it took me some time i got confused whether after i add first was the index or second was the index yeah so what we're doing is the same thing we talked about so first we're sorting arrays dot sort and we're sorting people now p and q means that we have two elements p and q if their height is same then we sort p of one minus q of one meaning we sort by the one value otherwise we sort sort by the height in a, in descending order and this is in ascending order because we're sending p first and then we're sending q then we have a list list of integer arrays so we have a list of arrays and what we're doing is now we have to store the array at kth position so we we don't have to just store seven we have to store both seven zero at uh, this position we have to show this whole array at this position so we're storing arrays so that is why we have a list of arrays and so uh, at kth position like i said we're going to add list dot add at kth position we're going to add the whole thing meaning the height along with k and then afterwards simply we're going to return list uh, after changing it into array because you can see that the return type here is an integer array so this is the code and it got accepted as you can see so i'll give a link to it in the description also and if you have any other doubts feel free to ask so thank you